President Obama will debut his budget this Wednesday, and NBC News has confirmed it will include $1.8 trillion in deficit reduction over the next 10 years. Joining me now to talk more about this is NBC News correspondent Luke Russert. He's live in Washington tonight. And Luke, we know this includes cuts to Medicare and Social Security. So how much is that angering the people who've really been huge supporters of the president? Well, that's an interesting question you have right there. Usually when someone puts out a budget in Washington, D.C., whether it be the Republicans or President Obama, it really is sort of a wish list of everything they would like to have because there's no guarantee it can get through Congress and ultimately be approved into law. President Obama today, from leaks that we've been able to confirm here at the White House, has really started this idea of negotiating from the middle. You brought up those cuts to Medicare. There's about $400 billion there in savings. And there's also an idea of trying to have chain CPI to the Consumer Price Index of Social Social Security. That's very wonky, but essentially what it would mean is it would adjust the cost of living increase to Social Security on par with inflation, which would end up over time cutting back benefits. These are things that he's offered in negotiations with Republicans before. He's never put them in his budget uh, to start out with. So the idea here from Washington, from the president, is okay, let me start out giving this away to the Republicans and showing them that I'm in trying to put forward in good faith some type of agreement to try and bridge this divide, which is divided us for so many uh, of these months. We seem to have a fight after fight in terms of reducing the debt. So this idea to sort of negotiate from the middle is really the news out of here today. None of this will really become law overnight, but it gives us an interesting perspective to where the president is starting his negotiations ahead of what will ultimately be the fight that decides this, which is the debt limit showdown in August. Strap in. This is just one of the first uh, <laughs> lines in the sand of many to follow. And how are the Republicans on Capitol Hill responding? Are they biting on this? No, uh, House Speaker John Boehner has sort of dismissed it out of the gate, saying, "Why, if the president does truly believe this, why is he holding back these meaningful entitlement reforms, quote unquote, in exchange for higher revenues?" This game is all about taxes at the end of the day. Uh, President Obama wants to see more increase in revenue. He wants to raise taxes on the wealthiest earners. House Republicans have said, no, we did that after the fiscal cliff deal on January 1st. We're no longer involved in that anymore. So the Republicans are sort of knocking this back and pushing it back. But the headline that's going to come out tomorrow morning is President Obama puts forth a budget. The left is upset with it because of the entitlement cuts. The right is dismissing it out, uh, out of hand. Who looks the best there? President Obama appears to be the person in the middle trying to work on a consensus uh, budget moving forward. That's something the White House from a press angle likes to have. Absolutely, and certainly more to come. Luke Russert, live in Washington for us tonight. Thanks, Luke. Go Bills. Go Bills. <laughs> you got it. Go Sabres. Take care. Always a sports fan. Luke Russert, thank you.